and Chris Maddox, Sports Illustrated. You, you coached Porzingis for one year in Dallas. There was a lot of expectations for him coming into that situation. I'm wondering, from your perspective, why didn't it work out the way you probably thought? No, I, you know, Chris, when you talk about um, did it work, did it not work, um, I only had him for a short period of time, and, and I thought, um, you know, it was going well um, in the sense of our defense, um, his ability um, to block shots, rebound, and then offensively we look to post him up a little bit more than – um, Rick had used them in the post. It was strictly just, you know, on the perimeter shooting threes. Um, both work. Both, he has the skill set to do both. Um, and as you know, in the business of basketball, there's trades that take place. And so, um, and we're judged if it works or doesn't work. That's just a part of the uh, business. But um, for the short period I had him, I really enjoyed uh, KP. He was great, uh, great on the floor, great off the floor, did everything we asked. Um, when you talk about, you know, maybe the health, he, you know, he, he got hurt. Um, and so um, as much as a coach or a teammate, you want them all to be out there 100% at all times. But I thought KP did great for us. Um, but the business of basketball, there was a, a pivot. Um, and so from there, um, things changed. Your days as a player, what, I'm wondering what you think about the way Luca thinks his way around the court uh, uh, to help maybe some – Athletic shortcomings, maybe. <laughs> well, you said that, Eddie. I did not. Uh, uh, we believe that he's super athletic, um, and so. Uh, but when you talk about basketball IQ, um, everybody has different levels. Um, when you look at Luca's level of uh, understanding the game, uh, time and score, uh, who's on the floor, um, he is um, at the head of the class, and in, in that sense, um, when you look at you know, the stage, he's not afraid of the stage uh, of the moment, um, successful or, or not. Uh, he loves that, that moment. And so um, it's, it's really cool when you get to spend a lot of time with someone to see how they do move around the floor. Um, he has shown that he can play defense at a high level. Um, he's also shown, um, you know, that he, he'll take a little time off uh, when needed defensively. But uh, when it comes down to it, he's about winning. And, uh, and that's why we're here um, is, is because of he's playing both sides of the ball. And he understands uh, when he has to. Um, but, you know, his offensive skill set is, is pretty special. Um, when you talk about being able to, to play inside and out, uh, play the mid-range game, uh, shoot the, the deep three. Um, he's, you know, so I think he's one of the smartest players in this league, and 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 that's why again we're playing in the finals because of his IQ and his uh, willingness to step up on that stage and not be afraid to fail. On your right, Brad, Jason, uh, Brad Townsend, Dallas Morning News, piggybacking off of Tim's question. This is your fifth finals as a player or a coach. What is the biggest difference when you're talking about that hurdle between? The finals, final, winning the finals. What stands out to you as you know the biggest part of that hurdle is it the aura, or the uh, the atmosphere, just the increase of a competition? What is it? Uh, it's, uh, it's simple talent. Sometimes you you, you don't have enough talent. Um, that as I brought up the Lakers and Nets, um, we were we were happy to be there, but we just didn't have enough talent to beat Kobe and Shaq. Um, it could be that simple, um, but you know, nerves sometimes play a part too. Just the human side of things, um, you know. But at the end of the day, as much as we've talked about it, uh, to embrace it, um, to stay steady, um, and to enjoy this time because you're not promised anything to come back the following year. So, to do everything, this is a, this isn't a vacation. This is a. a, a a road trip in the sense of a job. We have an opportunity here to find a way to win on the road. So that's how we're approaching it. But, um, you know, this is the, the best of the best at the highest level, and uh, and it's fun. And, and that that's what the finals are all about, is seeing what team is, is going to step forward and, and, and take advantage of mistakes.